Okay, so I stopped it on seven minutes just because I wouldn't get through this, okay. So it says ink is dropped onto a blotting paper forming a circular stain which increases in area at a rate of five centimetres squared per minute. So this is what you've got. Now it's area, you can tell by the units as well. It's area, so it's DA, but look at the units. So centimetres squared is area, per second is time, so it's DT. That's five centimetres squared per second. Find the change of radius. Right, so what I want is dr by dt. And that's when a is 30. Right, so that right. I'm looking down while I was writing. 30 centimetres squared. Okay. So let's think about the dr by dt. And we'll split, so split it up. dr times by something over dt. Okay. Look what I've got. I've got dA by dt. So that must be a dA. That must be a dA. So I've got dA by dt. That is 5 centimetres squared per minute. Well, let's have a look at this one, because this is a whole new level of hardness. I want dr by dA. It's a circular uh, blot. So I know that A is pi r squared. So I know that dA by dr is 2 pi r. But I've got dr by dA. That's what I need when I've got dA by dr. So if you remember from the previous, well, quite two lessons ago, I can use the fact that dr by dA, which is what I want, is 1 over dA by dr. Now you don't like that, really. Well, that comes from a couple of lessons ago. So my dr by dA, uh, dr by dA is 1 over 2 pi r. Now I'm looking at it when the area, oh God, Going to make it even worse now. I'm looking at it when the area is 30 centimetres squared. So I'm kind of okay with that so far. But I need an R value, don't I? Because everything I've got is linked to R's. So here we go. Let's, let's, let's add to our making it hard for us. So we need R. But we've got A is 30. Okay, so that's even worse for us now. So I know that 30 is pi r squared, so 30 over pi is r squared. I'm going to go with the positive square root, because it needs to be a number, and I'm going to use, uh, it needs to be a length, a size, a positive. So I'm going to use this. Right, I'm running out of room bit here. What I should have done was moved all that, move all this bit over into the middle and done three um, columns. I'll try and sneak one in. So what do we know then? So dr by dt is dr by dA, which is now 1 over 2 pi r, times by dA by dt, which is 5. Let's see if I can squeeze this in this gap here. So I know that dr by dt is 5 over 2 pi r. Now in the previous example, I put substituted the r in early. Well, that's fine. I can do it now. It just makes it a little bit messy. So D, let's do it, do it here where we can see. dr by dt is 5 over 2 pi multiplied by whatever my r value is, which is 30 over root pi there. There we go. Um, your root pi would cancel, wouldn't it? with the, the pi on the outside, but let's just go with the completed uh, pack, which is put it as a decimal, which is 0 0.258. Think about what your units are. R is radius, it's centimetres. Time is per second. That's a little bit harder for two big reasons. That was upside down. And that, we wanted R. Sorry about that. Now there is a question for you, so let's have a quick look at that one. So ideally, pause it, have a go, and see how it come out with. But if you
you haven't, so it says the balloon is filled at a constant rate of constant rate. Oops, go back there. Constant rate. constant rate of 80 centimetres cubed per second. So that's telling you that it's dB by dt because of the units 80 centimetres cubed per second. There. Uh, and it says find out what time the radius is increasing. So I want dr by dt. So splitting it up, dr by dt is dr by dv times dv by dt. No dv by dt. My r and my b are linked, but it's upside down, isn't it? So I need to use here that dr by dv is 1 over dv by dr. Now, hopefully, you can follow the rest of that question through, okay, on that question for you. Because it's a little bit easier than the previous one. Let's have a look at this next example. Oh, this sandhopper one is awesome. Right, so what do we know? So sand is falling from a hopper, shaped as a cone, with a height of 4 metres and a radius of 2. So I've got something, in reality, that looks like that. It starts off with a radius of 2 and a height of 4. That's when it's full. And sand falls from the hopper constant rate, so I've got bits of sand coming out the bottom of it, at a constant rate of 500 centimetres cubed per second. So that's a change in volume of time. And just think, the sand is coming out of this, so the volume is decreasing. So please be really, really careful. But the sand is coming out of the hopper, so the volume is decreasing. So find the rate at which the depth of the sand left in H is decreasing. So I want, can't spell want, want dH by dt. Do you see what I did? I put the H in there because I was thinking of the H. So I've got the dH, I've got the dt. I need to link it in with what I've got. I've got dv by dt, so that must be a v. That must be a V. So that's okay, that's minus 500. But here, look, I need something linking the volume and the height. So I need something linking volume and height. I know for a cone that the volume is one third pi r squared h. My problem is there, I've got v, I've got r, and I've got h. I need to get rid of the r value somehow. So I need to think about this hopper. Think about it as similar triangles. When it's full, the radius is 2 and the height is 4. There. Now what I need to do is find an equation that links the height to the radius. Now my height is always, as it drops down, my height is always twice the radius. So my height is 2 times the radius. So if I do h over 2 is r, I can put this now, the volume, as 1 third pi h over 2 squared times h. So my volume is 1 twelfth pi h cubed. That's messy. Have a stop. Have a think about that. Do you know I'm running out of time with this one as well? Um, so let me explain that again. So it's a similar triangle thing. If this dropped down to one metre uh, of the radius, the height would be two metres. So my height is always twice as big as my radius. And that's where that comes from. And then what I'm doing is I'm replacing R with H over 2. Because I want an equation that links V and H. Because originally I've got three variables. If I'm changing the height, it's changing the volume, I'm changing the radius. Right, I've run out of time, I'm going to start this again.